Welcome to episode two of the plastic shuttle review and comparison, which in the first episode I've done all completely Yonex, and now today we are going to be looking at Wilson, Carlton, Bird, Forza, and even the air shuttle to give you guys a much bigger picture. So here we are going to start very quickly with the Wilson shuttles. The Wilson Championship grade, straight away to begin with. On the packaging itself, so obviously here it's a six shuttle packaging and again it has the slow, medium, fast shuttle speed to begin with and we have all consistently medium shuttle speeds. So here you can actually see um, on the inside it only has a Wilson sticker on, it doesn't say what model it is. It shows a natural cork and so here I have a Yonex Mavis 600 to compare with. It's actually quite similar, it's got slits into little squares but yes the 600 has the chevrons whereas these don't. So obviously all plastic shuttles the skirts are actually quite soft. So in terms of review for this Wilson Championship plastic shuttles I don't really have a good review for it. So for me, it feels really imbalanced. Imbalanced as in the cork has significantly more weight in comparison to the rest of the shell, and so it feels imbalanced. And when you hit it, it takes quite a while before the shuttle actually turns. Well, the first thing it should do is to turn as quickly as possible in the direction of flight so it can actually fly stably. And with this guy, what, what I've found is you hit them and it takes a while before it starts turning. And so it feels really imbalanced and it doesn't feel very natural at all. Um, it's actually quite far away from being uh, from having a natural flight. So unfortunately, I cannot recommend this um, at all. It doesn't feel very good at all. So very quickly going to its cousin, the Smashed Star, if you compare that. Um, both also has cork bases. This one is a yellow shuttle, so hopefully easier to spot. So flight performance like a feather shuttlecock, top grade nylon skirt with a natural cork base, high visibility for indoor play. I've taken one out and the two that I've played with here to show you. Again, it has a sticker on the bottom of it, but it doesn't show, it doesn't tell you what model we're playing with. In terms of the skirt design, it has somewhat similar um, to the championship, although here you can see it's got three, it's got three grooves, well, three lots of holes, three sets of holes instead of two. So very minute difference in terms of the skirt design. In terms of play, however, instantly I felt that this was a lot better feeling compared to the championship. Uh, it reminded me a lot in comparison to the 600, which was fairly slow. It's a fairly slow nylon plastic shell, but at least it was pretty consistent about it. Um, the change in speed isn't as drastic as some of the plastic ones here. The next shuttle that we're gonna be looking at is what we call Bird 3. I'm not sure if the make itself is called Bird or the model is Bird 3. So I'm assuming there's a bird one and two. Uh, I've never played with bird shells, so I'm not sure what to expect. Um, here it says the ultimate feather substitute. Obviously again, it's got cork base, nylon, shuttlecocks, six of them. So from this immediately, we can actually see that we have got a very different design already. So here it says vortex intake design, as well as you know polymer resilient polymer compound, improved feather-like performance, durability obviously of a nylon shuttle, and more speed consistency in terms of this. So quite a lot of going on. Okay, so immediately we can actually see that this design is completely different to everyone else. Um, the gaps in between on the lower end of the skirt is extremely tiny. Um, it, you know, the gaps is are super, super small. Um, I think in terms of production quality, it looks, it looks good, it looks fine, it looks, and, but the bottom of the skirt is extremely soft, whereas the blue side of things, um, on the circle side, it feels like it's been reinforced um, somehow with the design. So the stiffness on the blue side of things, it's soft in the middle with ribs, and then the circle bit is then stiffer, and then it's super soft here. Um, in comparison to a normal feather shuttlecock, the height of the cork is about the same, so that's actually really good. So in terms of playability, 
these guys immediately were my outright favorite. So previously, in the previous episode, I said that the 300 was my favorite one because it sounded good, it felt very good. As soon as you hit a shot, you know that it's a good shot. It was quite responsive for some reason uh, in comparison to the rest of the show. And this guy, as soon as you hit it, the stability, the flight path, and how they responded, um, it's the closest one to a feather show that we've that I've personally ever come across. So they might look different, but they actually do work. Um, but perhaps nylon shuttles aren't exactly designed for training to begin with, and so I'll do further testing. But for now, these are absolutely amazing. So far, so good. Best one out of yet. Um, the next shuttle I have on my list is the Forza N9. So the Forza N9. So this, by far, is the simplest design in terms of shoulder tube. There's nothing on there bar innovated in Denmark and the barcode. It doesn't say anything whatsoever on it. So it doesn't really scream or enhance your confidence with that. So as soon as it comes out, you can see that the skirt design again is different to everyone else's. Cork, natural cork base or what looks like a, a natural cork. At least the sticker on the inside says and tells you the model. It says NS9. Uh, the bird, sorry, early on, doesn't have any sticker on the inside, but because it is actually so unique looking, you don't really need to have a sticker, I guess, unless bird one and bird two looks exactly the same. <laughs> I wrote here, this thing is crazy slow. So, um, although here it says it is medium speed, but it is crazy slow, feels somewhat a cross between the Mavis 600 and the Mavis 2000. Not the best, but certainly not the worst. So, but I think they can do a bit of improvement in terms of the packaging. So we come on to the Carlton series here. So here I have the Carlton F1 Ti, so F1 Titanium, I guess. And if we look at the packaging side of things, so we've got Carlton F1 Ti, six premium cork based synthetic shoulder corks, enhanced with oxygenated titanium. I don't even know what that means, but uh, very keen to actually see. Um, so obviously, again, here we have a lot of information, which is actually quite good. I, I like a lot of information. So here it's, it tells us the shuttle speeds, uh, and that's okay, that's good. Obviously, different language, I guess. And here is a fresh Carlton F1 titanium, F1 Ti. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any stickers on the inside, to tell you what shuttle it is, so it doesn't have anything on the inside. This feels very good and very similar to the Yonex Mavis 300, which is what I really liked until the Bird 3 came along. It doesn't look like it has a natural cork, but to me, it felt like the Mavis 300, which I, which was my favorite one out of the whole Yonex lot. So obviously it's all down to personal preference, but perhaps in a plastic shell, I'm, I feel like I might have a preference towards softer feeling plastic shells. So this one is actually quite soft feeling and that's why maybe perhaps they make slightly different sounds. And the Bird 3 is leaning on the softer side as well. Um, in terms of cork, everything's okay. Um, there's no tears on the skirt whatsoever besides a bit of uh, muck which happens when you're playing. We now move on to the Carlton F1 Ti's cousin, the Carlton T800. Sounds like a Terminator film already. So in terms of packaging, the T800 is actually fairly basic. Um, so obviously it's got the speed, the shuttle speeds that, we, that, that we've been testing. Uh, so obviously we use all the medium speed shows and nothing really else. Uh, going on there, as we can see here. So this is a fresh one. Uh, that reminds me of the Mionex Mavis 10, so which perhaps they compete directly against each other. Um, so there's, again, printing at the cork. Um, I like the how, I mean, how clean and how pristine the cork is at the moment. Uh, so Carlton obviously says made in, made in England. And again, it doesn't have any stickers in there whatsoever. Um, here you can actually see that the skirt design, obviously some of the uh, cutouts doesn't really come off completely here, but I'm not sure if that is a design issue or is that a quality control issue. So on here, you can actually see the punch outs come out cleanly 
whereas on this side it doesn't. But I think this is more of a beginner show. So in terms of play, as you can see, again, we have uh, damage ever so slightly, but mainly it is more stencil ink on the strings. Um, that comes off on the cork side of things. Um, it doesn't dent as um, seriously as the Mavis 10. Um, here you can actually see, quite similar to the 10s, but as this is a synthetic cork, and perhaps I'm not sure if there is a design element to it to how where the weight sits in between the whole shuttle, this thing is extremely fast, but it'll be good for a beginner game. So if you're just lifting to each other or just trying to get it over the net, this will be quite good for you. Last but not least, we have the Air Shuttle. So Air Shuttle, obviously I've reviewed that previously when I first started the channel not long ago. And so here we have the second generation, uh, but they are amazing um, packaging wise. I think the Air Shuttle brand is on there. It doesn't say anything much except outdoor shuttlecock with increased resistance to wind. So that's actually quite good. It tells you what they are. And yeah, wind resistant, good flight trajectory, durable. So yeah, it doesn't have any sticker on this one, but it is super catchy and you will 100% see them very well, even if you're outdoors. Um, obviously in my review, I obviously mentioned that these are suited to the outdoor badminton game, not necessarily for the indoors. We tried to play it indoors during the test alongside all these shows and it was almost impossible. Um, I've completely forgot how head heavy this cork is and this thing is completely solid um, the stiffest and most solid of every single one that we've tested including the yonex batch and so i really wouldn't recommend you playing them indoors with these um, also in terms of rackets and strings you rackets should be using normal rackets but for strings the softer you go, the more fun you will have with these. So hopefully you guys found something like this very useful, um, which helps you decide on which plastic nylon shuttlecock for you to buy. Uh, obviously they can never come close and beat the actual feather shuttlecock, especially ones as good as the AS50s from Yonex. But no matter where you are, there's always a way for you to play badminton and hopefully comparisons like these will help you make better choices. If you have any questions, list them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them and I will see you in the next one.